In this video, I'm going to show you how to put markers on your Mapbox map using Mapbox Studio. Depending on the complexity of your data, you can do this differently. We're going to stick to a very simple workflow in this video. We'll be using this tutorial, so if you'd like to follow along, click the link in the video description. All right, first thing we want to do is start with our data. Each one of these points has a latitude and a longitude. So I downloaded the data available in the tutorial. Let's take a look. Great, so it's a collection of features of the type point. Each has a lat long, a title, and a description. If you've never seen a GeoJSON before, the data kind of looks like this if it was a CSV file, which you can also use. So next step is I'm going to take that GeoJSON data and upload it into a map. So I'm going to studio.mapbox.com, clicking New Style, we'll use Basic, click Customize. And then we'll zoom in on Chicago, because that's where our data is. Great. So the fastest way to get this data into this map is to click on Layers, Add, and then Upload. We can actually drag this data file directly onto here. I'm not going to do that right now, because if I do, we will never be able to edit that data source again. So what I'm going to do instead is leave this map exactly where it is, and I'm going to go to studio.mapbox.com slash datasets. I'm going to click New Dataset, Upload, and drag my data there. Confirm, Create. Let's edit it. So great, I can see there are nine features here. And in the tutorial, we have some information about a missing feature that we want to add. So it's Garfield Park in Chicago. I'm going to click Search, Garfield Park, and I see it's in the underlying data, but it's not part of our data set. I'm going to add it by choosing Draw a Point, clicking right here, and then giving it the properties name, Garfield Park, Chicago, and description, home of the Garfield Park Conservatory. I'm going to save this. It notes we added one feature. And now I'm going to export this data set into a tile set. I'm going to create a new tile set, call it Chicago Parks. It'll take a moment to process. Great. So now I'm going to copy this. So what we've done is we've created a data set by importing our data, and then we've edited our data set by adding a point, and then we've exported this data set to a tile set, which we can now use in our map. So I copied this, I'm going to go back to our map, we clicked Add New Layer, and instead of uploading, what I'm going to do is search for a tile set that I know is already in the Mapbox system. So I'm going to paste what I copied, and there is our tile set. And we should see 10 points there. I'm going to change this layer from a circle type to a symbol type. And now let's style it. So it looks like our data has disappeared, but it's there. It's a symbol type layer, and we haven't told the system which symbol to associate with each of these points. So under icon, I'm going to choose for this layer any one of these icons from our sprite sheet. But I know that in this tutorial, there's a very cool marker. So let's import a custom marker. Right here, I'm going to take that file that we just downloaded and drop it into Studio. Confirm. And now we can search for it. There it is. Cool. I'll publish this style. And now we've done our work. This is ready to share. You can use it in any one of these external apps, uh, or you can just download it and share it with another Mapbox user so they can edit your style. I'm going to click Preview. We'll take a last look. And that's how to add markers to a map using Mapbox Studio. I hope you enjoyed this video, and keep building.